Mercedes, known for their dominance, hit a rough patch at the start of the 2024 season. Despite a major overhaul of their car, they struggled in the opening race, leaving fans wondering what's up. But wait, there's more. They've uncovered a massive issue that's costing them precious lap time. Now the big question is, can they fix it in time for the next race in Saudi Arabia? And will their upgrades put Hamilton or Russell back in podium contention? In this video, let's find out the details. Here we begin. During the Bahrain Grand Prix, Mercedes' performance was a bit confusing. In practice sessions, both in the pre-season and during the race weekend, they seemed pretty good and competitive with the front of the field. But when it came to qualifying, things didn't go as smoothly. George Russell did well, securing the second row with a time just 3 10 slower than the pole sitter Max Verstappen. However, Lewis Hamilton's ninth place wasn't as impressive. He claimed he set up his car to be better in the race than in qualifying, but George Russell disagreed with that the next day. Neither driver could match their good testing and practice performance on race day. Despite a good start, Russell couldn't hold off Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, who took fourth place late in the race. Leclerc was facing a dangerous brake cooling problem, making his car unstable every time he slowed for a corner. Hamilton also struggled to capitalize on his supposed setup advantage, failing to make the most of his race pace. Mercedes' disappointing finish. During the race, Hamilton managed to finish in seventh position, splitting the McLarens. But gaining only two places during the race wasn't really an impressive charge through the field. Overall, it was a bit of a letdown for Mercedes, especially as many were hoping for a strong showing with their new car, giving Lewis a shot at the World Championship in his final season with the team. Nobody expected this from Mercedes, but there's still hope. Despite the setback in Bahrain, there's still hope for Mercedes. They faced a major issue during the race that cost them a lot of time. However, upgrades are on the way that could help them, especially at the low downforce circuit in Jeddah. Also, a specific problem affected only Hamilton in Bahrain, but the team will have fixed it for the upcoming Grand Prix on Saturday. During the Bahrain Grand Prix, Hamilton faced a challenge as he raced his way to seventh place. He even reported over the radio, my seat is broken. Unfortunately, the team couldn't do anything about it at the time. But hey, it's all about endurance, right? No time for a seat swap during a race. So, during the race, Hamilton's race engineer, Pete Barnington, could only respond with, OK, copy. Later, Hamilton revealed to the media just how bad the problem was for him. He said, Honestly, I think I was breaking into turn one, and then the seat just shifted and my left butt cheek basically fell. I think it just cracked, just snapped, something snapped, so then it was moving around for a while like my butt was in the air on one side. A broken seat might not seem like a big deal, but for an F1 driver, even a tiny disconnect from the car can make a huge difference in how they feel on the track. Plus, it's super dangerous. Imagine if you crash and there's something wrong with your seat. Who knows what could happen? That feeling of being unsettled and disconnected messes with you mentally, and that definitely costs you time on the track. Luckily, or maybe unluckily for Hamilton, it turned out to be just a loose seatbelt, causing him to disconnect from his seat. In the Mercedes debrief, Andrew Shovelin explained that the seats in the car are designed to be lifted out in case of an accident. This is because in an accident, the driver should stay in their seat. The driver, strapped in with seatbelts, is what keeps the seat in place. Shovelin mentioned, if Lewis was ever so slightly loose, being loose in an F1 car at high speeds isn't good for the driver. Bigger issues in Bahrain, but the loose seatbelt wasn't Mercedes' main problem in Bahrain. During the race, both Mercedes drivers had to slow down to cool their engines, which caused their tyres to lose grip and slow them down even more. George Russell, who started third on the grid, ended up finishing fifth, 46 seconds behind the winner, Max Verstappen. Russell thinks that the engine cooling problem hurt both Mercedes cars costing them at least 15 seconds of race time. George Russell believes the car has much more potential than what they showed in Bahrain. He said, I think when we saw the pace in FP2, that was genuine. During that session, the team's cars performed well with Lewis Hamilton leading the way. Russell thinks they were genuinely fast then, but during the race, they faced some big problems with engine cooling that caught them off guard. Russell explained, 
We had some really big cooling issues that caught us by surprise. We know there was at least a 15 second loss just in the battery and the power, probably more when you consider the effect it had on the tires. He mentioned that even a couple of extra seconds could have helped them stay in contention for a podium finish. Russell estimated that with the lost time he could have finished 10 seconds ahead of 4th place Charles Leclerc, just 5 seconds behind 3rd place Carlos Sainz. However, it's not as simple as that. If he could have pushed the car more during the race, defending against others passing him would have been easier. Plus, managing the tyres better could have saved them extra time. So, while the lost time hurt, other factors were also at play. The team's technical director, James Allison, described their cooling problem as the biggest mystery from the weekend. The team felt confident in their cooling simulations before the race, especially after three days of testing at the Bahrain International Circuit the previous week. However, Allison expressed how painful it was for the team to face engine cooling issues during the race. The Impact of Cooling Issues Allison explained, The fact that we got it wrong by more than one or two deg is extremely unusual and quite punishing. When the cars exceed the cooling limit set by the engine team, they have to back off, reducing throttle and engine modes. This costs them lap time, affects tyre temperature and ruins their race. Solving the mystery of what went wrong in Bahrain is a big challenge for Mercedes ahead of the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. However, Allison is confident that the W15 car can be more competitive once they address these issues. We definitely didn't get the best from the car in Bahrain, Allison admitted. He hoped they could deliver a car with the correct cooling level and achieve a better balance for qualifying and the race. Allison emphasized the importance of having a car with sweet handling that the drivers find easy to handle around corners. While most cooling changes for the upcoming race will be under the cover of the external bodywork, there will also be alterations to the louvers on the engine cover. Allison encouraged everyone to keep an eye out for any changes. However, Mercedes isn't just focusing on cooling for the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. New upgrades for the W15 of Mercedes has introduced their first upgrade for the season, featuring a new rear wing for the W15 car. This upgrade is set to debut at the high-speed Jeddah circuit, aiming to enhance the car's performance for the upcoming race weekend. Also, Mercedes' new low downforce rear wing has caught attention with its intriguing and extreme cutout in the middle. It's designed to reduce drag and boost top speed. Whether Mercedes will stick with this design after Thursday's testing remains uncertain, but it has certainly sparked discussion in the paddock. The Jeddah Circuit's 3.8-mile layout features long, winding segments with full throttle. It's the second fastest circuit on the calendar behind Monza in Italy, in terms of average speed. With the new rear wing aimed at reducing drag, Mercedes hopes to capitalize on these high-speed segments for maximum performance. However, prolonged full-throttle running strains the engine to the max. If Mercedes can't solve their engine cooling issues for Saturday's race, they might lose even more lap time than they did in Bahrain. So, are you surprised by how much Mercedes struggled with engine temperatures in Bahrain? And will they manage to solve this issue in time for the next race? Share your views in the comments below and subscribe for more such videos.